Welcome back to Anderson's TV. Hello. What's in the box, Mr. Pete? Well, what's in the box? What's, what's in the box? In the box? What's that from? Hopefully not. That's from Seven. Is it from Brad Seven? Brad Pitt. He what? gets the box oh, in God, the end. Oh, God, yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? Panic not, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a severed head in well, here. Well, you don't know. But you never know. But or was it a severed head? Because you never saw one in the box. It's Probably. It's definitely, it's definitely it? his wife's oh, seven. Yeah. Oh, so I've just ruined it for everyone that's never seen it. If so. you haven't watched Seven, I watch Seven. I'm going to watch Seven well, Don't again. watch it now because I've ruined the end. But yeah, it's a great film. No, um, you haven't because it's such a plot, isn't it? It's a great plot film. Twist. Anyway, or, go on. Instead go on, of what's in the box, it could yeah. be... What's in Mr. Tumble Spotty bag? <laughs> oh, it's not. It's um, oh my god, a seven head. <laughs> <laughs> Can you oh, what's in the box? It's my Spotty bag. What's in the box? <clears throat> what's in the <laughs> box? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh no, it's a seven head. Can you sign <laughs> a seven head? <laughs> Decapitation. <laughs> Okay, crikey. Wow. As you can probably imagine, something deeply inappropriate happened, but very funny. Uh, yeah, for us anyway, anyway. To hey, everybody before you now slice, okay. uh, yeah, My let's Wolverine. just say, please like and subscribe, links below. We're giving away a real clutton when we hit a million subscribers and if we hit 850 or 900, 950, we're giving away stuff. And what we're giving away at the moment there is, is this. A, this here, right there. Um, so thank you very much for that. Yes, we appreciate uh, you. We, uh, we do use timestamps on this uh, channel, so if you'd like this to fast no forward, there probably won't be any on this one. Yes. No. Come, 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 come. And we sell a range of highly fashionable clothes on our website as well, so you can look like Pete Tenore or any one of no, our no, no, musical Mr. presenters. Mr. Anderton. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 hang on. Okay. Whoa, 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 wh
Right. Right, back in the room, We're back man. in the back room. In the room. We have used our normal SM57 Royal 121 mics on the front here. We've put Pete's board on it, mm -hmm. although we'll absolutely show it to you with no pedals yes. first. Right, right um, now, I'm only going through the flint. So I'm going so straight gonna... into the flint, into here. When oh, you've we unwired want to everything else? Yeah. You'd li okay, so just we're the just hitting the flint Ooh. now. Okay, well, uh, uh, I shall switch on and we'll start. So, okay, it has this negative feedback switch on the back, which is uh, allegedly going to change um, the gain structure of the amplifier as I switch between on and off. It also has a remote speaker output. We're going to show you what it sounds like through a bigger speaker as That's well. Right. But for now, this is the feedback position in off into input one with the volume and tone at 12 oh, o'clock. So we not turn that down? We don't know how it's going to... That's good, isn't it? That, it's, it's not that raspy sort of. It's it's absolutely Fender Champ territory, but yeah. just it's just whereas. I think the the cheaper, you know, if you, you go and buy a Fender Champ and you spend four or five hundred pounds on one like yeah. that, it, it does have a bit of a tendency to feel like all the cabinets rattling and everything's kind of... Th this just feels to me like it's just everything great about a really small tube amplifier. Yeah, that just goes... Ugh! Yeah, it's like no pedals, nothing, no reverb. Yeah. It it's a little bit angry sounding. I bet it records quite differently yeah, to how it sounds well, in the room we'll, as well. We'll find out, yeah. Um, okay, so let's just see what sort of scope we've got here. So if I start to just go a bit, if I turn the volume down a little bit. Uh... It's very uh, immediate. Yes. Uh, I can put a bit of reverb on. mad it's, it's quite loud isn't it so i'm gonna it go is. almost right actually what i am gonna do because you've got a hot guitar there as well Ooh. let's try input two oops i've wobbled the amp a bit input two because i don't know this for sure but normally speaking when a when an old vintage amp has there. two inputs uh, the second one is slightly attenuated so i always think with a les paul if you want to go yeah. cleaner sounding on these yeah. using the input two is the way to go Let's go 60s. A bit less. Oh man! But it sounds great, man. That is a. But it's like I think it's you should boxes, put your whole it? pedal board in because See, okay. I kind of feel like. There's going to be two customers for the Magnetone. There's going to be the professional studio recording guitar player that just needs that old fashioned small tube amplifier growly tone in the studio. Yep. There's also then going to be the guy that's just got his, or girl that's got his collection of Les Pauls and PRSs and yep, custom yep, straps, yep, yep. and he's got really expensive pedal board, but just wants something unbelievably cool and cute to sit in the corner of the room and play his pedals through. So I can't, I mean, you know. Tone control. Okay, tone control. Ah. Here we go. That's all the way off. Okay. I'm going to just try and find out on this Sorry. feedback control whether yeah. you prefer it on or off. So okay. here's off. Here's on. I 
I mean, I like them both. I it is. It does it. have a small sound, but it is that kind of. I really it's like it. It's so immediate. It's, it's, it? it's okay. really instantaneously. Um, so no pedals again, and yeah. we'll just we'll now tonk this up. Okay. So we'll see where we go. Control is adding more gain in as well, like is it? as in it's, it's like a it's, MIDI. I don't. Yeah, it's not going like uh, rolling all the treble off. Add, you know, adding loads of treble in. It's 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 doing. Well, I'll show you. It's a so here's all the way off again with. And I'll start to wind it in. Authentic sound, yeah. isn't it? Let me it's go back that. to uh, channel one for the driven. That's, I mean, that, isn't that was that, a deco in front, but that was what they would use. They isn't that leg, didn't that was the whole Jimmy pacing? Lots of little supra amplifiers, wasn't it? So yeah. I want to play with this. It I just want to see what it does. I'm wondering if we'd have left the amp on the floor, whether or not we might have conjured up a tiny bit more bass end, because that's what yeah. normally the happens. conjuring. Two here. pick up there no I mean go on the front pick up just hear what that sounds like and then play softly like a
I mean, I would. I mean, I know, as I said, I think I go back to before. I think there's two uses for this amplifier. I really do. I think it's it's wound up to the max, growly, yeah, everything. Yeah. And it, it will, I think, I think if you get the right setting on this and you play it at a lower volume, it's a great little home use pedal board amplifier for the sort of discerning, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. wealthy customer. Yeah. <laughs> lovely even though it's quiet and you know it's not got a massive bass end but it's got that lovely it pick, all the notes on a guitar that want to go it, it picks them out that off but it's, it's, it's very subtle isn't it's it it's very subtle switch. but let's plug the plug cabinet in oh ah, yes sorry of course if you do want uh, bucket loads more bottom end mm. we are this is the 212 victory cab behind me you could I of course get a, a magneton cabinet yeah i don't think i don't know is this going to switch okay so it switches this off okay so we're now recording through the the bigger cab mm. Hum, I can explain. I can explain, mummy. Uh, right? Hmm. It's just because there's single coils and I'm close to the amp here and it's just creating some stuff. So if I if I sit somewhere else, I'll turn I, it down. I, I really uh, want to hear the Les Paul through the biggest speaker. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. And uh, and then we'll literally, we'll just finish out, I think, again, we'll, we'll go back to a, a really low volume sound on here and we'll use all of Pete's pedals. Oh, yeah, okay. So. Wow. Sorry, I'm just putting you in the other input. You know, actually, I think I like input too, even even on the drive yeah. sound. <laughs> Going back to input two. It's got that. It's, it's got that. You know that's that yeah, solo, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know the solo, but. Only bluesy kind of a. Is that kind of sound? Somebody, isn't it? somebody said, I think you know, John and I did that. 
tones of yeah, the yeah, 70s. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, apparently, the, I'm sure lots of people said Leonard Skinner used a lot of PV amplifiers. But well, anyway. Man, who not? But that's got that's. Uh, <laughs> It's got that old-fashioned 1970s grunty. Can you play Billy Gibbons on that. Something like that. That's I've the sound. I've man. never known a video of us not use any pedals as much as we've not used There's any no pedals. pedals on. That's what I mean. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going back to this. Choose your weapon of choice. Do you want I'll to try? I'll just stay on this one. I'll, yeah, I'll try that one, please. And then I think, <laughs> we'll, as I said, we'll just get a really clean, low volume sound out the magnetone with the internal speaker. Magnetone. And then show, kind of, as a pedal board amplifier, could you use this at home? That sounds good, doesn't that it? That sounds great. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, before we do, right, that's it. End of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Like subscribe. Just so you know, again, for this final bit, we're back into input one. The volume is about uh, a quarter of the way up. Again, if you look at the decibel meter, it might help you. Tone mm -hmm. control is at about one o'clock, and now the feedback switch is on. Okay. And we're just using the internal speaker in the magnetone and some of Pete's pedals. Okay, so I'm starting with a bit of flint. For that is about talking level, isn't it? It's about talking level, yeah, you can hear over it's, us. It, yeah. yeah, it's not too loud. I really put the deco on, just the drive side of the deco. To compensate, because we're going straight in the front with the reverb. Had a bit of Dane, which is quite cool on the back pick. That uh, this like don't let me down, isn't it? A little bit of uh, compressor just to see what it does. It is so little. It sounds great, man. It's great. I mean, recording stuff. I mean, it's just a thing, isn't it? It's a thing. Uh, Why not? There, there's lots of... It always surprises me, I think, when we periodically speak to, you know, like proper professional session players or just, well, you know, recording guitar players that have, you know, written and, and, and performed on a lot of good stuff. They've all got an amp like this somewhere in the armory, haven't yeah. they? And well, it's, with Clapton and playing the little, you know. Cla he's... Clapton's probably the one that you'll see yeah. doing tons of that sort of Albert Hall stuff with, you know, like a little. Phil X uses a tiny little thing Doesn't on a, he? yeah, yeah. His little amp there, uh, Greer thing. And... I'm sure, I know we were talking about Joe Walsh earlier on. I'm sure Joe Walsh had read in the past he's used tiny. Because yeah. I think sometimes in an album mix, like what we love as big guitar sounds when yeah, we're just yeah. playing on our own. A lot of guitar players will talk to you about that being like an overwhelming sound, and it just you know yeah, they, yeah. they need to sit in a smaller space in the in the recording. Yeah, um, but so cool man. I just think they, you know who wouldn't want to come home to look at something like that every night. That is a bit, 
I've gone a bit weird on you. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, it was the, yeah, you know, having the lunch, the I'll dinner the ready, and with the I slippers. should be the first man to get married to a guitar <laughs> amplifier in the world. It'll be some weird civil ceremony. Well, I'm not. Um, I'm sure. It'll be, it's, I'm not surprised that that's legal somewhere in America. Definitely. Right. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been the captain. No, my name is Pete. And this is the Magnetone Starlight. Starlight, can you hear me? I don't even know the lyrics there, but anyway.